welcome back in the previous video we learned the procedure for obtaining molecular vitals of a simple molecule we took nitrogen molecule as an example in this present video we'll learn how to obtain the ionization energy and bond dissociation energy of the same molecule using hartree-fock method and we'll also compare the result with the experimental data in module 4 theory lecture there was discussion on kupfer's theorem where we had discussed the physical significance of the orbital energies obtained from the hartree fock theory according to kupfer's theorem the negative of the orbital energy is the measurement of how much energy is required to remove electron from that particular orbital so hartree fock orbital energies are related to electron binding energy in ionization it means the negative of the energy of the highest occupied molecular orbital should be approximately equal to the ionization potential so let's see in the last lab session we used nitrogen molecule we had optimized nitrogen molecule let's see the input file of our previous calculation so that that was the input file where we had used hartree fock method we did an optimization calculation using sto 3g basis set we had provided some extra additional information regarding printing of basis set and the coefficient of molecular vitals and that was the initial geometry once it was optimized so that was the output file and yes all the convergence criteria were met energy change and the force and that the maximum displacement all the values were lesser than some tolerance value the optimization was completed and just so this is the final optimized geometry that's the in the cartesian coordinate the information regarding the geometry of ento molecule now if you look at the orbital energies of corresponding to the highest occupied molecular orbital in this case so that's the table for the orbital energies so the seventh molecular orbital because in orca the numbering starts from zero so the sixth one is actually the seventh molecular orbital and it has orbital energy minus 14.4289 so minus 14.4289 so negative of this according to kupfer's theorem should be the binding energy this should be the ionization energy so according to kupfer's theorem from this calculation ionization energy should be closer to 14.5 electron volt now if you look at an experimental data let me see if i have experimental data yes that there is a paper which in a table they have mentioned the experimental data that's the experimental value for nitrogen molecule the value is 15.58 electron volt so 15.58 electron volt is the experimental data and what we got from kupfer's theorem from our calculation using hartree fock method and sto 3g basis set value around 14.5 so 15.15.58 5.8 and here we are getting around 14.5. So roughly a difference of electron volt. That's a huge difference. That's not very close, but we can do a better calculus using a better basis set, a better methodology there. So after the verification of Kupfer's theorem, let's try to compute the bond dissociation energy of N2 molecule. In the present module, in the second lecture, there's a discussion on the demerit of Hartree-Fock method. hartree fock method is unable to compute the correlation energy and that is huge consequence for example if you want to compute the binding energy of n2 molecule how much energy is required to break n2 into two nitrogen atom experimental value should be around 10 electron volt but what we are getting using hartree fock method is around 5 electron volt no doubt this value will depend on the type of basis set we are using let's try to compute using a basis set better than sto 3g so go to avogadro and then uncheck adjust hydrogen uh, from the element drop down menu choose nitrogen 
click now you have nitrogen atom without getting the hydrogen because we have unchecked at this hydrogen box and then click and drag and then click at the center of the bond the double and then click once more triple bond and then click this by using auto optimization tool click on the start button so do remember to click the stop button and now create the input file so go to the extension menu orca orca generate orca input then make a comment so energy of n2 using higher basis set so let's use uh, and for calculation or go for geometry optimization and then a basis set let's use a split basis set six primitive functions for the core electron a triple zeta for the valence electron then a diffuse function and also polarization function for nitrogen atom so we have used a higher basis set a split basis set a complete discussion regarding these basis sets will be in the next module in the theory section now click on the generate button and then make an input so into split and then i already had a file let me write rewrite that so replace this so click on that yes okay close this button okay let me also make input file for a single nitrogen atom because for computing the bond dissociation energy we need to get the energy of n2 as well as the energy of single nitrogen atom so go to draw tool delete one of the nitrogen so now we have a single nitrogen then go to the extension orca generate orca input then let's replace this setting now we write the comment energy of single nitrogen using higher basis set because for this we don't require a geometry optimization so go for single point energy and then the same basis set so let's make this but before that we need to change the multiplicity because in the single nitrogen how many unpaired electrons we have three unpaired electrons so total spin 3 by 2 so total multiplicity 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 so it will be quartet so multiplicity equal to 4 and now change the basis set here also the same basis set 6 3 1 1 plus g and then in the bracket right d and now again generate make it nitrogen and then at this also again split so that is for nit n2 molecule this is for nitrogen let's save it close this and now using the command line let's run the job so in this particular directory let me check that we do we have those input files so type dir yes both the input files are there in this particular directory now let's first run the into job so orca name of the input file into tab then channel 2 and then give the name of the output file change the extension out and then enter so it's running and very soon the job will get completed so wait for a while so it's running done so let's type dir so we got all the necessary output files so we have now this into split out so hope 
this got terminated properly. Now let's run this particular job for computing the energy of single nitrogen atom. So again, Orca, and then the name of the input file, N. So nitrogen N then does, so we have this input file space, channel two, to give the name of the output file. Out, run again. So it's running and completed. So we have completed both the job. Now we have to look at the output files and then compute the bond dissociative energy, which we get using Hutter-Fock method. No doubt for the open cell nitrogen atom, it will be unrestricted Hutter-Fock method. Let's go and analyze the output files. So let's open that desired folder into so first, let's open the N2 output file. And that's the N2 output file. In the notepad now. Now let's go down. Let's check the final message. Yes, the OCA terminated normally. And then scroll upward. Let's see the optimization was proper not. So the step convergence is over. Reasonable convergence, they are saying. So they have signaled that the optimization is complete. Let's assume that optimization is complete. And now let's see the value of the total energy. So right now the total energy is minus 2965.33570 electron volt. And let's see how much we got for the single nitrogen atom. So again, go to this and open the nitrogen output file. So that's the nitrogen output file. Let's again open this in the notepad. And let's check the job termination message. Yes, Orca terminated normally. Scroll upward. And that's the energy of the single nitrogen atom. So that's the energy of the single nitrogen atom. That's the energy of the N2 molecule. Let's take the difference and let's try to get the bond dissociative energy. So that's the calculation. So energy of the N2 is minus 2965. That's this value. So bond dissociative energy will be the energy of two nitrogen atoms minus the energy of N2 molecule using the same basis set, same method. So energy of N2 molecule, we are getting minus 2965.33570, that's there. And the energy of individual nitrogen atom is minus 1480.26920. So twice of that, so twice of the energy of single nitrogen atom minus the energy of the N2 molecule, the value is around 4.8 electron volt. And the experimental value, the experimental value is around 10 electron volt. This may be using some different basis set, but that's very close. So around five electron volt, we are getting heart reform, but huge difference, huge difference. So the reason behind that is the neglect of correlation energy. So that's there in this particular video video.